All right, let's get going, shall we? Now we're ready on my very noisy leather chair. Today I'm covering the two most important things you need to know to make sure your plan B works, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, board certified OBGYN, author, educator, and this channel is the health class you wish you had in high school, you should have had in high school, but you didn't, so we're here. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss an upload. I upload every Friday, and I'm having fun all week long on TikTok and Instagram, so go ahead and follow me there. So let's talk just a quick refresher on emergency contraception. I've got a whole video up here, you can watch more, but a quick refresher because I said plan B. So what I'm talking about is to make sure your emergency contraception works. There are two types of pills, plan B and all the generics, and Ella or Ulipristal acetate, and the copper IUD, which yeah, we'll get to. The big thing to know, the two differences between plan B and Ella is how you get them. Plan B is over the counter, Ella you need a prescription, and how soon you have to take them. So for plan B, you have three days or 72 hours after unprotected sex, and Ella, and also the IUD, you've got five days or 120 hours after unprotected sex. Okay, but let's just jump right into the number one thing to make sure that your plan B or your Ella works is that the sooner you take it, the better it works. I know that might seem really obvious, but not everybody realizes that because you think, oh, I've got three days till I take my plan B, so I'll wait till Monday. No, no, my friends, sooner is better. You could even take it like while you're having sex. I mean, that's like not a bad idea actually. Anyway, so yes, the sooner you take it, the better it is. And this is why actually having it already in your house is an awesome idea because you don't have to worry about getting to the pharmacy or with Ella, getting a prescription, waiting to get that from your doctor, going and getting it filled, picking it up. Like time is not what we wanna waste here. There's lots of ways to get these, but I actually made a website to act as a hub called threeforfreedom.com and you can get these medications mailed to you. Get them filled, get them mailed to you, have them in your house ready to go. In fact, it's called Three for Freedom because you can get birth control, emergency contraception, and yes, medication abortion pills sent to you before you're even pregnant. So go ahead, check it out down there. Share it with your friends, my friends. Okay, the second thing, most important thing you need to know to make sure your emergency contraception works for you is that your weight matters. And I am not here to fat shame anybody, but I'm here to call out that how much you weigh can affect how effective these medications are. And there's lots of misinformation out there. You might hear 155 pounds, 165 pounds, a BMI of 30, 190 pounds, like what's reliable? I'm here for you. So there's no clear weight cutoff, but we do know at higher weights, these medications may not work as well. In fact, the FDA in 2016 considered putting a label on plan B to say that over a BMI of 25 or 165 pounds that they may not work. But they decided not to because the data is not great and it's conflicting. The other thing too is that when we hear recommendations about BMI, it's not the best measurement because you could have a BMI of 30 and be considered in the range of obesity, but if all of that is muscle, like people with a BMI of 30 can have a different amount of fat on their bodies. And that matters because these drugs can be basically stuck in the fat cells and not get into the bloodstream and work as well. So that's why we use weight and we use BMI as a measurement, but we know they're not perfect. And I know that's frustrating, but here's some general guidelines. So over 155 pounds, plan B may be less effective. So in that scenario, you may wanna consider Ella or the copper IUD. We know that over 190 pounds, plan B or Ella, both of them might not be effective. So in those cases, you may wanna pick a copper IUD. And an important point, no matter what you weigh, the copper IUD is the best. It's almost 100% effective at preventing pregnancy. It's a plan A going forward, you can leave it in place. And remember, you've got up to five days for it to work. So if that's something that you have access to and you really wanna use the best form of a you know morning after pill, it's actually not a pill at all. And for BMI recommendations, for a BMI over 25, you may wanna consider Ella. And for a BMI over 30, you may wanna consider the copper IUD. Now, what about taking two doses or like a double dose of plan B? I've been asked that before. And the truth is we are researching it. It's, it's like literally happening right now. So we don't have results yet. I see why it makes sense. Could it potentially work better? Sure. Is there really any harm in taking two plan Bs? Probably not. It's just levonorgestrel, it's just progesterone-like hormone, but I can't guarantee that it's going to work. Now, before you say, okay, so what I heard her say is if I'm over 190 pounds, I can't take Ella or plan B. That's not what I said. Something is better than nothing. So if you can't get the copper IUD, go ahead and take one of those. 
it may work for you, but it may not. So you just need to be prepared for that. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Go ahead and save and share this, my friends, because there's so much misinformation about that. And now you know the two things that can help you make sure your morning after pills work best for you. Questions, comments, drop them in the comment section below. Go ahead and follow me on my other socials and everybody stay safe out there.